Hi guys and welcome back to Rich Reviews and we're back here today at Broadway Car Show. This is day two of the weekend of, for, for the Broadway Car Show and today it's cars from the 1900s to the 1960s. As you can see here, we, we're in this main central area that we were yesterday. Um, no cars in the central area, but you can see as we pan round all the different types of eclectic vehicles that we've got here today. Got some of the modern bits and pieces here as well that are just parked up, around, up and around Broadway. So what we're going to do, we're going to walk you around and show you some of the cars. I'm not too knowledgeable on these sort of cars, so I'm just going to uh, just going to do my best and, and give an appreciation of what they are. And we'll try and pick up some of the new stuff that's here as well. looking at some of the cars again obviously this is the DeLorean it's got the, the uh, definitive brush finish if you have any damage on these cars there's only certain companies and certain specific specialists that can actually uh, recreate this finish on the car um, because it's aluminium with with a special brush finish I think they actually have to scrape the metal to get it to that finish so this is actually one of the actual Le Mans GT40s I believe it's had um, some modifications made to the car to make it more drivable, like a, um, an easier clutch put in, which would mean the pressure plate springs would have been altered so that it'd be easier to actually press, depress the clutch and use, on general, and use for general road use. So one of the real differences that you notice from this GT40, so this is one of the obviously original Le Mans GT40s, one of the real things you notice is it's a lot smaller. It's a lot smaller than the more modern GT40s that you had later on. It makes, a, it makes an awful lot of difference. Obviously, they only made these cars as big as they had to be. So here we have actually an original Abarth 500. If you come round to the back, you'll see one of the original quirks of this car. The actual engine protruded outside the actual engine cover, so they actually had to prop up the engine covers. Now just look at this, this is an original 300 SL. So the downstream, the later SLs were created as, a, as an upgrade or a later recreation of this car. But this, this original just acts, looks absolutely phenomenal. So the modern SLSs are a lot bigger than these original cars uh, because obviously the legislation that we have nowadays um, builds in constraints on the actual size of these vehicles. So if you look inside, it's, it's, a, it's a lot more svelte and a lot more compact. It looks very much like this has been fully renovated, almost certainly it's been fully renovated, but it's this thing of absolute beauty. So here we've got a beautiful 308 GTB. Have a look at the number plate. That would be worth a bit in itself. WOI308. Beautiful, again, looks like it's, it's had some work done on it, some stone chip repair work on the front, and uh, probably had a respray at some point. All these cars, all these Ferraris have had some type of a respray on the front end. Took you for a walk along, we've got some Bentleys along here, and some Rolls Royces, and some, and some Morris cars. These are what my son would call shitters. <laughs> so, on this Rolls Royce, you've got the one of the original designs of the Spirit of Ecstasy on the top of the radiator. It's pretty cool. I believe the radiator's brass as well. You've got the <laughs> fog horn, the original types of uh, horn repairs, and you've got a copper original shell fuel tank. That, that in itself would be worth quite a bit. Padlock around it so nobody can nick it. And here we're approaching an E type. We get an appreciation here of the size of the front bonnet. The front bonnet is actually made in three parts. There's a main centre part and there's two side parts, um, but it's all one unit. But those, the actual car, the, the bonnet is actually created of those two parts and then they're welded together. So this E-Type has got the straight six. You can look, you've got um, 
it is, and it's a twin overhead cam, so obviously these are the cam covers, a twin overhead cam and exhaust uh, in, and inlet manual, obviously the other side. Look what we've got here, we've got a 458 and it's a 458 Spider. So this is just parked on the side roads because today's event isn't actually about the modern supercars, it's about the, as I said, the 1900s to 1960s cars. So this is a 458 Spider. it's got internal, in, in, the interior is crema with the comfort seats. It's quite highly specced inside, carbon fibre centre console, fiber, carbon fibre driving zone, um, the actual vents etc are, are standard so it's a mix between a classic and a sports spec inside, silver diamond cut wheels. So one of the differences on this 458 Spider as well is that it's got what's called the sports exhaust. Now with regards to Ferrari, as regards an option, the sports exhaust was just actually the black tips. So it was just this section which actually bolts in to the rear, to the rear bumper. So it wasn't really a sports exhaust, it's just actually exhaust tips, but Ferrari called it sports exhaust. <laughs> So we're just closing out the video now. Uh, most people are leaving the event. Um, beautiful backdrop with this white E-Type Jag. This is the one that we showed you before with the straight six cylinder, straight six engine. Um, been a great event again today. Even more people here today than was yesterday. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you like the content, please like the video and give it a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next video, which probably will be the Supercar Fest. And of course we've got Salon Privé coming along later in the year as well. We're there on the Saturday. so. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next video.